I want to start a 90 days UI channel to improve my UI skills. Lately, I've been feeling that I'm not as inspired and I found this really cool daily UI challenge in a website called Hype for Academy and I want to start that and I want to do the first challenge with you guys. I really would love you guys to join me in this challenge and let's do it all together and I would even review your work weekly, share the work that I've done in a week in a video and it could be a really fun way for all of us to interact. So let's start. Welcome to the series of seeing how I actually do design work on my bed as you guys can see this is the hype for academy landing page i have already set up an account i'm gonna go to the dashboard and i'm gonna start the design challenge they already have the first design challenge ready for you you're gonna see before entering the challenge you have normal mode you can work on the daily UI challenge at your own pace you don't have to post daily UI designs no i want to do the challenge mode I want to be challenged you guys after entering the challenge you will have 24 hours to upload a project dedicated to a specific day if you fail to upload time you still do it later but your strike will be broken and you won't get a badge okay they actually give a badge let's start let's start with the challenge mode available okay challenge started let's go why can't i click on this though let's refresh okay see challenge details daily ui challenge design a product card with add to card and favorite button goals for this challenge design a product card i'm gonna take a copy of this image paste it on my figma name the file 90 days ui challenge challenge no challenge okay yeah let's start let's actually start this we'll have to add a cover for this file later oh that's a tomorrow mia problem day one i'm not gonna do 90 days like this probably but let's just keep it like that in terms of aesthetic to like combine come up with an actual good plan to do it okay so they want us to design a product card add to favorite button here product photo product name price short description card icon and the button i want to do something fun here i want to do the exact same style they have there just because i recently wanted to do a cartoonish type of thing style here and i didn't have the time to do it and i think this is the perfect time for it and there's a lot of different ways that you can achieve that type of cards but like uh, let me show you what i mean here yeah so i saw this type of thing here and i really want to recreate it so let's take a screenshot of our idea and let's let's start designing our card what do you want the size to be I would go with 480 okay but i want the width to be a little bit bigger so let's just go later uh-huh okay that's cool i'm gonna name this card and let's start so the first thing that i would want to do is finding a cool icon pack for this i'm probably go with I'm gonna go with iconly because i'm really invested in them these days okay i have an icon pack i have the style that i want to do and now i can start so first things first let's create a frame for the image okay we have the image frame now let's give this a nice amount of okay and now do need a background color for this so i'm just gonna create space here to put my card in frame okay since i want to use these colors for the card it's a lot easier and like less time consuming i'm just gonna use these colors for now and maybe like change it later there's two ways of achieving this type of card grid you know so the first thing is actually creating with shadows you're gonna create one drop shadow like this 20 
from bottom and 20 from left and you want to take this color make it 100 percent and ta-da oh actually i have to remove the blur okay and now ta-da you have this beautiful type of thing and then you want to add the stroke which the stroke is supposed to be Ooh, this is where it gets tricky so the stroke is supposed to be the same color but a little thicker okay let's make it a little bit thicker uh-huh and then you are supposed to have another stroke inside of it so how am i going to achieve that i'm gonna create an inner shadow i'm gonna create zero I'm gonna add spread and I'm gonna use the color that I want see if that would work I'm just trying different things you know I'm gonna keep this zero I'm gonna make the spread uh-huh okay it actually worked let's make it two perhaps uh-huh really cool I can't believe that actually worked you see you can create one simple card with two types of shadow inner shadow drop shadow and the stroke itself now as you can see it has this type of top thing which i'm probably gonna have to do if i want to be consistent with the style let's go 32 let's add feel let's take the color from here you probably want to create a style out of this color so you can just be consistent with them okay okay that's pretty cool okay i'm just gonna keep that as it is right now and then just come back and work with it a little bit more now i have the product image what do i want the product image to be i'm gonna go to community and like search illustration maybe illustration and see what do they have for me so in still Let's use the first one here just in terms of like saving time for you guys i'm just gonna open this in figma until that opens up let's continue with the product name what is this this is illustration pack for kids <laughs> i'm not sure what is our font here you guys what do you want to use as a font for me when i want to like find a font i want something with a lot of different weights so let's see how this one works 24 i don't love it but it low-key suits the style doesn't it mm. i guess it does i guess it does let's just make it a little bit bigger and do this illustration pack for kids okay i want it to be two line now i kind of feel that the drop shadow should be less i'm gonna make it not 12 let's make it 16. okay you see this is this is a process you just look at something and like figure out what you should do to just make it a lot better illustration pack for kids they want a short description this pack can be used for school stickers <laughs> let's make it 16 pixels let's have medium and let's make it a little bit bigger so we can actually read what that is i don't like how the text is laying out right there right now in terms of hierarchy i think it could be better but let's just let's just see how it works right now now i kind of feel like i don't have a lot of space for my button so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna use this method to add a button here this is just a ui type of challenge so you can actually like go wild with experimenting different stuff so again let's have the stroke here let's give it a proper amount of radius so this is going to be white and then let's have the same type of a shadow effect here as well let's delete the inner shadow let's make this f let's make this a little bit less thick i guess three is fine and then let's go to drop shadow and actually make this a lot smaller so eight is good i presume and then i'm gonna just pop this on top of this one make sure it is like in a good size in terms of like fitting and then i'm just gonna 
say buy this pack okay or purchase purchase pack let's have that let's make it 32 and now i do want to have an icon so i would come here and then i do want a bold style of a card hopefully they have it under free yes they do and then let's add it here make it like somewhat bigger <laughs> this whole thing in terms of size is not correct okay don't follow out the font size and the icon size and the stuff i do because it's not correct like at all here i would actually like a pop of color since i don't have a palette ready i just want to use yeah something orange could be cute okay yes purchase this pack and let's have a proper spacing between them okay i don't love it right now but just let's roll with it see see where it can take us okay i can always come back and like make improvements this was like so much bigger oh no 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 i'm not i'm not a huge fan of this but let, let's come back later okay now we have this we don't have the price and we don't have the favorite icon yet so let's just find a place for the price i'm gonna keep that 32 for the favorite icon i'm gonna obviously use a star on top of here and yeah let's add the color that we have right now like right add to favorites okay make it smaller so it would fit there okay looks cute okay we have add to favorite tag there and i think i feel like it's small let's make let's make it like a little bit bigger 20 okay i like that i like that okay that looks nice now let's start like auto layering a little bit i'm gonna say tag here and then this would be obviously our button i'm actually running out of time on my camera so let's just do it a little bit faster okay on the illustration section i'm gonna have to choose the duckling obviously what do you think of me i'm not that strong of a person i have to use the duckling paste the duckling please make it smaller now <laughs> okay i added the duckling but obviously the duckling's gonna have to have some sort of background color let's go back to image like try some different colors i obviously don't want to do white maybe some sort of blue would be let's make it a little bit lighter let's okay let's give this image constraints and then bring this like this low and yes that looks cute then eight pixels no i would like a 16 pixel gap and then here i want like at least four that looks cute you can deny that actually looks super cute now i want to add like some sort of price indication so i'm gonna write price here and i'm gonna make sure that is obvious and then in front of it i'm gonna write 199 usd okay we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere i still don't love the spacing out here but i don't have a lot of time on my camera so let's just assume that this is the final project like final delivery let's say what if i do this what if i bend the knee and like do this i think that would fit so much better are you do you guys agree like if i don't do a two two line text and then have this as 32 and then just bring this here in the middle maybe i think it looks nice 
let's say I'm not sure. I want to add some colors. Let's add green. Let's see if it was green. How would that look? Yeah, I kind of feel there's too much color here going on, but that's it. I'm, I'm just going to post this one. I'm going to get export and I'm going to post it here. And like, let's see what other people think. Yeah, it was fun. Actually, see you in the next challenge. Make sure you send me the product cards that you created. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I think a daily challenge outside of work, outside of the things that you're required to do is really good. And I've been looking for a quality challenge that I could take, well-structured one with a big community of people that are doing it. And when I found Pipework Academy, I thought it would be the great opportunity to start it. I'm really excited to see you guys join me. So leave a comment, let me know if you've started and you want to do this together. You can send your work in instagram i'm gonna share my work in instagram as well this is my id yeah that's it for today i hope you enjoyed and make sure you leave a comment like this video and obviously subscribe i'm gonna see you in the next one bye